then we can start yes ma'am so plant hormones they are also known as phyto hormones okay right? okay and these hormones are used in what plants they are produced in the plants then what is the what it does it regulates processes in the plant for growth development then response to the environment the first or first hormone which we are going to study is ox this oxen uh, this term was given by f w wind it in the greek it means f w f w wind wind okay f w wind now it is okay. this is the first growth hormone discovered in plant so oxens where are they distributed they are found in the higher plants and also in the lower plants like algae fungi fungi is not plant but in where are they present in the growing tips ma'am they are present in growing tips in the shoots in the roots okay there it is present apical shoot apical apical mist and also in the young leaves so its function it will promote what is this this is growth to grow that means it is promoter it helps in the growth of plants okay whatever needs to grow it helps in that so oxen function is promoting the growth promote the growth of stem roots and fruits by cell elongation and also its function delay leaf senescence senescence meaning aging or you can say falling out leaves ma'am what is the second function written delay leaf senescence are you not able to see ma'am spelling of uh, senescence senescence okay and it also promotes the growth of apical buds and it also promotes what parthenocarpy what is that formation of fruit without fertilization like in the apples bananas okay these are all the function of oxen got it yes ma'am mm. next is what gibberellin there are different form of gibberellin and they are found in different plants like ga1 ga2 ga3 and etc going up so on okay the most common one is ga3 that is gibberellic acid and uh, where are they found mostly in the stem parts now let's see the function it it is also growth promoter it helps in the promotion of promotes the growth of internode and it breaks seed dormancy that it mean that meaning of this hmm? if it is breaking seed do dormancy then what will happen to the seed it will germinate it helps in the promotion of germination okay okay ma'am then it helps in the fruit growth and here here it is also capable of inducing parthenocarpy same thing as the oxen and also other work that is also as in the oxen we have delay senescence next one what do we have cytokinins the cytokinins uh, it was discovered by skor hug and miller and where are they found mainly they are synthesized in the root, root. synthesized and they are transported to other parts its function promotes the cell division cell division here here also delay in the aging here one more thing here it inhibits apical dominance oxen promoted this apical dominance okay apical buds here it delays it it inhibits its cytokinin okay promotes cell division next uh, what do we have abscisic yeah. mm, acid abscisic acid aba it is growth inhibitor mostly its function is related to the inhibiting of plant growth slowing down plant plant metabolism then it inhibits seed germination that means it promotes dormancy and increases senescence that means aging and other one more thing the closing of the stomata is done by this hormone um, lastly we have ethylene so ethylene this is the gaseous hormone okay 
that means at room temperature it is in the form of gas so it is produced in the food and it will remain in the same food so unlike the other hormones its site of synthesis and site of action are not different wherever it is synthesized there it works so where it is found in aging leaf and flowers and then germinating seed and the ripening fruits what's its work it helps in ripening of fruit and promotes root growth and root hair formation here one more thing promotes senescence that is aging just like the abscisic acid so these all are the hormones this hormone is most widely used in agriculture it really okay next uh, we have what movements right tropism so first thing what is tropism what is tropism or what tropic movement oh ria you came hello thank you we are in the last tropic that is tropism and you see a growth movement of plant in response to stimulus external stimulus in which the direction determines the direction of response that is tropism or you can say tropism is what directional movement and one more thing the growth of the plant in response to stimulus it could be towards the stimulus the response could be towards the same stimulus or away from the stimulus if it is towards the stimulus then that is positive tropism i'm getting water yes and if it is away from the stimulus then it is negative tropism now let's see types of tropism here we have i think no hmm here we have stimulus and types of tropism if stimulus is light then the movement is what that the directional movement is phototropism and if the stimulus is gravity then it is geotropism and if the stimulus is chemicals then it is chemotropism if it is water it is hydrotropism and if it's, it uh, it is touch then it is thigmotropism first thing is phototropism see this is what it is showing when sunlight is here every area it cover it covers by the this oxen is distributed uniformly the uh, so the sunflower is facing what towards the sunlight here in the second case when sun is towards the right then what will happen the oxen will be collected at the shadow here and what will happen this side will grow faster oxen promotes growth this side will grow mm, faster then what will happen happen stem will bend towards the light so this bending towards the light what is that called that is called phototropism and this is it is going towards the stimulus that means this here is positive z uh, positive phototropism okay and the same thing if you say the roots it is moving away from the light it moves away from the light that is negative tropism negative phototropism next we have geotropism here the stimulus is gravity this is the stem and this is the root now if you are uh, turning it planting it sideways horizontally what will happen see the root will go down will bend downwards and the stem will bend upwards this root is showing positive geotropism right it is going to towards the which is stimulus gravity towards it this root okay and the stem is going away from it it is moving upwards so it is negative geotropism hydrotropism so here it is a uh, container inside that we have put a uh, soil moist soil and we have planted the seed this root will grow straight okay everywhere the amount of water is what same now if you are taking clay pot and putting water in that what will happen this root will start moving towards the water okay so this movement is what hydrotropism and it is positive hydrotropism when thigmotropism 
it is directional moving of plant part in in response to the touch of an object so the climbing part of the tendrils towards any support uh, which happen to touch it hmm? that is what we call positive thigmotropism ma'am hmm. ma'am uh, if the stick over there was uh, a little curved with the plant also curve along with it no there will be some bending but only this thing will curve this when it touches this support it curves and some plants there will be the whole climber and creepers i'm not talk talking about that okay next uh, what do we have mm. uh, lastly we have one more thing mm. chemotropism this is what uh, stigma stipe ovary ovule this whole thing is what carpal or distal that is female reproductive part in plants the growth of the pollen tube or from pollen grain right the pollen tube comes so the pollen tube towards the ovule towards this ovule what is that called um it happens by the sugary substance okay and this sugary substance is chemical so it is a form of what example of chemotropism because the stimulus is what chemical due to this this uh, what is it pollen grain a uh, pollen tube is moving towards the opium this pollen tube carries the male gamete next we have nastic movement or nas these so the movement of plant in response to stimulus in which the direction of response is not determined okay and that movements are called nastic movements this is not directional movements here we have photonastic Uh, this flowers open during the by bright light during the day time and at night it closes and this moon flower is exactly opposite during the day time it will be closed and during night time it will be opened this is nastic movement and uh, one more nastic movement is the folding of the leaves okay sensitive plant that is mimosa pudica it is also what nastic movement in the case of this photonastic what is the stimulus stimulus is light in the folding of leaf in that case stimulus is touch excuse me ma'am hmm i mean voice you are on audible and hello there's not so if in between like your voice was gone my voice was gone so i was talking about the nastic movements uh, in that uh, these movements are non directional movement and one example is photonastic movement here the stimulus is light and uh, And here the movement is non directional in the case of sunflower it opens when it is bright light that is during the day time and it closes at night time this bud and in case of moon flower it opens during the night time and closes during the day time okay and one more uh, you can mute yourself in process last one is nastic movement by the when you touch 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 me not that time um, closes it leaves closes and it is nastic movement it is not thigmotropism why because in this case the direction of movement of leaf it does not depends upon the direction of the stimulus wherever you touch it doesn't matter it will close all parts of that leaf will close okay now let's see how this happens it happens due to we have this plant okay one minute this is the plant this plant uh, have, will have swelling parts add like swelling that is called what pulvinus and this will contain lot of water inside them so if we touch right what will happen it will lose water so it will fold up that is what uh, causes the uh, touch me not plant to droop and lose it firmness usually it is form because it contains lot of water pulvinus has lot of water inside them and if we press them there will be loss of water so the leaves will fold got it yes ma'am so this chapter is over no. any doubts no no mm. uh riya in your school it will be chapter over ma'am we not even done the first chapter first chapter and second chapter over No, first chapter is half done. First chapter is half done. Okay. Uh, when will your uh, 
जुलाई फर्स्ट और सेकेंड ओके एंड यू गाइस राइट वी हैव डन टेस्ट एल एफ पी टेस्ट ओनली न्यूट्रिशन वी हैव डन राइट वी हैव टू डू वॉट रेस्पिरेशन देन वी हैव ट्रांसपोर्टेशन देन वी हैव वन मोर थिंग दैट इज एक्सक्रेशन देन वी हैव वन मोर थिंग सी एन सी कंट्रोल एंड कोआर्डिनेशन द होल चैप्टर सो टोटली वी हैव फोर टेस्ट पेंडिंग so in the next assignment class that is next uh, wednesday which test uh, would you like to have from respiration respiration ma'am respiration yes okay then prepare well next wednesday we will be having respiration thank you ma'am thank you ma'am bye ma'am bye bye